Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to lesson two on abstract reasoning. In this tutorial, we'll go through the different question types you'll face in the section. So, there's four question types you can face in abstract reasoning. Type 1 questions are by far the most common. Remember, in tutorial 1, we said that you have 13 minutes to answer 55 questions. And although at first this might sound really scary, it does sound, it is easier than this. Because for type 1 questions, once you spotted the pattern for set A and set B, you have five questions associated with them, which are pretty easy to answer once you have the pattern. So type one questions give you two boxes, um, two sets, sorry, set A and set B. Set A has one rule between all six boxes and set B has another rule between all six boxes. All the boxes in set A have to fulfill the rule, bar none, and same for set B. Then, once you spotted the pattern, you'll go through each text, uh, test box and choose either A B or C. Obviously, you won't be surprised to see that if, if it's into set A, you choose A, if it fits into set B, you choose B, and if it fits into neither, you choose C. However, if the test box fits into both A and B, then you choose neither as well. So to summarize, set A for A, B for B, and C for either neither or both. You have around one minute to answer this whole set. So we, we recommend spending around 40 seconds finding the pattern and then 20 seconds to answer the five test boxes. Because as I said, it should be very simple to do once you found the pattern. Type two questions tend to be more rare. And in these questions, you get a series of shapes in a sequence and are asked to select the next, next shape in the series. So let's have a look at this example and try to work out the pattern here. So for this question, we have four boxes in a sequence, box one, box two, box three, and box four. And we have to select which of A, B, C, and D fits box five. So we're looking for a change from box to box. When we compare the boxes, we should only compare one and two, not one and three, or not one and four, or two and four. We're comparing one and two, two and three, and then three with four. So looking at the boxes, first of all, we notice that there's an increase in number each time. So the fourth box has four shapes, so the correct fifth box should have five shapes. So we can knock out C. However, this doesn't give us one answer yet. So we need to go back to the pattern and find a secondary pattern. And looking at it, we see that the new shape is always shaded. Therefore, the answer to this question is D. Because in A, the square, the old shape, is shaded, whereas the circle, the new square, is not. And in B, there's no shaded um, um, object. So therefore, the answer is D. So, type three questions. In type three questions, you get pairs. So, you'll have one box paired to another box, and they'll ask you to pair a third box to one of the test shapes to find the fourth box. So, this is to this, as this is to what? So, box one is to box two, as box three is to what? Have a go at this particular question. So, for this question, the uh, shape is rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise, and it turns black. So first of all, we can knock out D immediately because the shape is white. We want the triangle to be rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise, and therefore the answer is A. For this particular question, it's quite hard to spot the 90 degrees anti-clockwise rotation. Because to some, 
it might look like a 45 degree rotation anticlockwise. But there's no answer box which rotates the triangle 45 degrees. Therefore, we need to look again. And once I've said it now, it should be quite easy to see that there was a 90 degrees anticlockwise rotation. One thing to bear in mind for both type 2 and type 3 questions is that whereas type 1 questions and even type 4, which we'll, which we'll come on to, count for 5 questions per pattern, these questions both count for just one pattern per mark, or one question per pattern. Therefore, with 55 questions to do in 13 minutes, type 2 and 3 questions have to be on high alert for time wasters because you only have 12 seconds to spot the pattern, whereas in type 1 and type 4, you have around 40 seconds and then 20 seconds to answer the five questions. So to summarise, type 1 questions we say spend one minute on, 40 seconds to find the pattern, 20 seconds to answer the five questions. Type 2 and type 3 questions we say spend around 12 seconds for. And then type 4 questions. Type 4 questions are essentially the same as type 1 questions, except the answers um, <clears throat> are chosen in different ways. So, instead of having 5 um, questions with just boxes, you have 5 different um, lines of questions. So, the question will say, which of the following fits into set A? Then the next question will say, which of the following fits into set B? And so on for 5 questions, even though 3 are only shown here. Type 4 is essentially the same approach as type 1, however, it takes slightly longer to answer the, the test questions. Therefore, we advise you to spend 30 seconds on the pattern and then 30 seconds on answering the 5 test questions. So to summarise, type 1 questions, you should spend 40 seconds on the pattern and 20 seconds on the questions, that's 1 minute in total. Type 2 and 3 questions, you should spend 12 seconds in total for each of them and type 4 questions again you have 1 minute in total but you should spend 30 seconds on finding the pattern and 30 seconds to answer the 5 questions of present with them. So those are the main question types you'll get in abstract reasoning and the majority will be type 1 questions. So these are the type of questions which we'll focus on primarily for the beginning tutorials. Thank you for watching this free Medic Mind tutorial. For £30, you can unlock all 150 tutorials in our online course. The course covers four full days of UK CAT teaching, as well as a course to help you with your personal statement and interview. You're free to ask as many questions as you'd like to our teachers, and with each tutorial, you can read along using our five UK CAT ebooks, covering 500 pages of theory and questions to guide you every step of the way.